Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and I make mommy lifestyle and Leo content. And today I am here to talk to you all about National Police Week. National Police Week begins Monday of next week and National Police Memorial Day is actually May 15th, which is next Wednesday for when you're watching this. <laughs> um, so I just want to talk a little bit about National Police Week for a minute. A lot of times National Police Week is confused with maybe National Enforcement Law, um, Law Enforcement Appreciation Day or uh, Thank a Police Officer Day or those types of situations and I see a lot of people getting things together to take into police stations to show our appreciation and I see a lot of um, fundraisers to benefit communities and those types of things those are all wonderful things to do and it's so important to appreciate our police officers especially those that are currently serving our communities and it's wonderful that we have holidays that are dedicated specifically to them however national police week is not for the officers that are living it is actually in remembrance of the officers who have been killed in the line of duty and there seems to be some confusion around National Police Week, even within the law enforcement community. So I just wanted to give you guys a bit of information about it, let you know kind of what it's about, and that way it might help inform you a little bit better. Um, National Police Week has actually been going on for about 30 years. This year is their 30th anniversary, and they have special memorial services across the country. My husband is actually presenting at a memorial service next week for um, two troopers that were killed in the line of duty here, as well as a, I think he was Sheriff's Department, Sheriff's Office, or maybe regular PD. I'm not positive on that, which department he belonged to. Um, but he will actually be presenting next week on May 15th at that memorial service. And I've only been to a memorial, a memorial service for police officers, I think one other time. And of course, it's always a very somber affair. It's very serious. Um, if you are part of the police community, it hits very close to home. But it's so important that we remember them. We don't let their sacrifice go unnoticed. And that's what this whole week is really dedicated to. So I just want to give you guys a few ideas of something that you can do for um, the families of those who have lost loved ones in the line of duty. So. My first idea is um, flowers directly to the family. Now, use your own discretion at this. Some people may not be comfortable with this. Some people may feel like you need to know the family a little better. Um, it's really up to how your own judgment is on that, what you are comfortable with. But flowers are always a really beautiful gesture, and they're something that I don't necessarily feel is too personal. You can just send them, write your family name on there. Um, however you want to do it and send those to the families directly. Something else you can do is if you know where the officers are laid to rest, you can take flowers directly there. Let's say you're not comfortable um, you know, dealing with the family directly, you can always place them on their tomb, their gravestone or something like that. Um, I just think, I think personally flowers are a beautiful gift. They're a wonderful for any occasion. <laughs> and I know some people prefer to do something that lasts a little longer so that people know that they're thinking of them. Um, I have seen memorial blankets. I've seen memorial chimes. All of which are very, very beautiful. It's again, it comes down to what you're comfortable with and how you feel about giving something directly to the family. The next thing is just a personal handwritten card of sincerity, just letting the family know that you haven't forgotten. And I know that for the families here, it has been several years, and so a card might be more appropriate. It's a little less formal. They've had many years to grieve and to kind of come to terms with the loss of their, of their family member. And not that there's ever... <laughs> Now that there's ever anything that will replace them, but you do with time learn how to move past that. And so a card can sometimes just be a really thoughtful gesture. Just I'm thinking of you. I, you know, we appreciate what your family has given for 
for our community and we love and appreciate you guys. And that's just something that's it's very simple. You don't have to hand deliver it. You can mail it. You can drop it in their mailbox. It's not something that if you don't know them personally, you can't do. Um, and it's so, I don't know, there's something about a handwritten card or letter from someone that is really touching. It's a very personal gesture. And I think it's a really beautiful way to commemorate um, the, the families and the officers that were lost. So, I know that, especially in the police community, we are faced with death basically on a daily basis. Um, maybe not we as the families, but our officers are. And so it can be really difficult to want to <laughs> be a part of something that is so obvious about what they face every day. And it's something that we do as police wives and police partners. We try to kind of ignore that threat <laughs> and put it off and not think about it. Um, but I encourage you, if you have a memorial service near you, to attend. Show the officers that are in attendance that you support them and that you are there for them. Show the families that you are thinking about them, that we haven't forgotten them. Um, it's so important. I think a lot of times when a spouse loses their, their Leo partner, um, sometimes as time passes it can become really easy to forget them as the police community because they're no longer maybe involved with the events like they used to be or they're, you know, it's uncomfortable or it's awkward or it makes you really sad and this is a way that you can show your support to them as you attend their memorial service and just that show of community, that show of people showing up and just letting them know that we're behind them, we're thinking of them, is just so, so important. So this National Police Week, I encourage you to say thank you to the officers that you encounter, but really remember what this week is about. Um, May 15th is National Police Memorial Day, so do something a little extra, maybe even if it's just taking a moment of silence for the officers that have been killed in the line of duty and um, as always just show the police in your community lots of love and lots of support and tell them thank you when you see them although sometimes you know we aren't seeing them for the best of reasons so that's hard to think of um, but I just encourage you to remember what this week is about teach your kids inform the people around you so that they know too and uh, that's all that I have for you today. So I hope that this video gives you some ideas, is helpful to you, maybe gives you some information about National Police Week. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope if you like content like this, you'll click the subscribe button. It's completely free. It just notifies you when I upload every week. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye.